All right, it's John here again, and we are going to move on to Fibonacci numbers, problem two of Project Euler. So our problem is as follows. We are going to take the Fibonacci sequence up to a value of 4 million, and we're going to find the sum of even value terms. Okay, so... Good, it's kind of a classic functional programming thing as a recursive problem. So let's start off with making a Fibonacci function. So defn, call it fib. Uh, we will take a parameter in. And we need to do our base case to start with. So if and it looks like if we have a number that's less than 4, if so, if n is less than 4, then we'll just return that value. So 1, 2, 3, just come back out the way they came in. Otherwise, uh, we want to do the sum of Fibonacci of n minus 1 and also n minus 2. All right. So that looks like our function. I'll define that as fib. And then uh, let's run some test cases. Let's map our function over, oh, let's say 1 through 10. Let's see what we get. OK, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55. Yeah, good, that matches. That matches what they said. So it looks like our Fibonacci function is right. Um, so let's, we need to take more than that, so we can just do the range function and we will take while, and we need a predicate, so we're going to say while uh, while less than 4 million, we're going to do, we're going to map the Fibonacci series over range. Uh, but let's be, let's be more careful. Let's say, let's start with one. So what we'll take while our answer is less than four. We're going to map the Fibonacci function over numbers. OK, let's test that out. Uh, so what do we get there? Ah, so it's less than 40. I said, I said 4, but I meant 40 because we have uh, 4 times 4 times 10 here, 10 to the 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Yeah, good. So now. If we bump that up and say less than 400, that works, and that works. All right, so now we're up to 40,000, but uh, you're probably getting the feeling like, hey, wait a minute, uh, we don't have uh, tail call optimization turned on, and it looks like things are out of control as we try to get up to 4 million. So uh, we need to come up with a strategy to uh, reduce the number of operations. So uh, you'll notice here we're calling Fibonacci over and over. So we're computing the same values over and over and over again because we just we're always going down to the base case, not just once but twice. So we will introduce. Uh, some memoization. We'll just keep an external memo uh, or external memory. So we'll call our memory mem. 
and we will have it be an atom that is an empty map. And just what we'll do as we build this up is we will, uh, as we make answers, we'll just uh, stick them into this map. So uh, what we need to do is modify our function here to say, um, we're going to define our memory here. So uh, we want to say let, uh, and we'll call it our cache, equal to get from our memory map end. Okay, so now when we come in here, we are going to try to find the current in from our cache. All right, and if if it is not nil, then we can just return it. So we'll just return that cache. Otherwise, uh, we're going to need to compute our answer. So let's say let result equal and then let's go ahead and take this form move it up here this is where structural editing would help a lot but uh i don't know how to do that yet i haven't memorized all the keystrokes maybe another time we can look into that um so we are going to let our oops put that in the wrong place and let our result go there. Okay. So if we don't have it cached, we'll calculate it. And then we, now that we've calculated it, we need to go ahead and store it. So we need to do a... Ah, uh, what was it again? We want to we want to uh, update the atom. What do we do with that update atom? We want to do swap, right? Okay. Swap, and we are going to swap our memory. We're going to call the source function and it will get our map and then we need to do the key which is n and then put in our value which is the result so now we calculate the result we'll stick it in our map and we have it in result and we can go ahead and return the result All right, let's evaluate that. And let's see if we if our function still works. It looks like it does. And then um, for the fun of it, let's um, let's see what is inside of our memory here. All right, let's let's go ahead. Let's clear it out again. And let's change this to go back to do the first elements that return less than 40 and run that again. And now let's see what's in our memory. Oh, it looks like 7, 27. We have a bunch of stuff. What is, let's see what's in the, what are our keys? Okay, so we have four, five, six, uh, we have everything uh, up through 32. So I think this lazy, lazy sequence is, it must be, uh, must be doing things in chunks of 32 and then deciding to stop or not. So that's kind of, 
interesting, but uh, let's see if we can start cranking up uh, the size of our take while to get closer to the 4 million that we're looking for. Make sure it's still performing well. Okay. Seems pretty fast. Okay, so now that was 4 times 10 to the 5th, so that's 400,000. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do 4 million. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we have all those answers there. So let's go ahead and find the sum of even valued terms. Okay, so we have our take while, and now we want to uh, filter and only take the ones that are even. All right, let's try that out. 02834. Ah, okay. Uh, we have an extra zero, but we're going to add, so that's okay. But anyway, 28834. Look, that looks good. And now we want to add those up, so we just apply addition across that list. And that gives us a result of 4613732. So looks like 4,613,732. Let's try it out. 4613732. Confirmation code 03493. Okay, we got number two right. So. Uh, Things are looking good for us. Thanks for watching.